right guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a few weeks since our last video. Holidays are here, Christmas is fast approaching. We've been spending time with family, traveling, vacation, all those things, but now it is time to get back to work and we're gonna start things off in the garage with our first underhood modification to our new 2024 Mustang GT and we're gonna do a little bit of a driving review of our Steeda Progressive Springs. This is a performance package Mustang GT. So I wanna to try to answer in this video because I think it's gonna be relevant if you're going to spend money to lower your car and maybe you have a performance package, maybe you don't. Is this the right spring combination for you? I'm gonna to try to translate as best on camera my thoughts, opinions, and the performance so we can feel on the car from these springs, but Let's get started under the hood with our first modification to the engine. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. First mod. Pretty much everybody should do to their brand new Mustangs because these things have uh, been proven over the past, I don't know, eight years to be not snake oil. They absolutely do work even on NA applications. And this is an oil catch can. Our good friends at JNL have sent us a catch can to go on our car to keep things safe over the long haul. Keep this thing healthy, this new generation four Coyote. What we're going to do is keep an eye on this as we install it. But I've had these on like every single Mustang that I've ever owned and they absolutely do work and what's cool is these things don't cost a lot but you can head down to the video description down below check out all the discount codes we have for various companies down there i like saving you guys some money that's what i'm all about the more money you guys can save the more that you can mod just like we do on this channel let's open this up real quick show you what it looks like on the inside nice serrations down here at the bottom so you can get a nice grip on them nothing but awesome from j and l Great customer service, great group of guys over there, and excellent uh, quality control and awesome products. But this is kind of how things look. So this is going to trap all the crankcase pressure gases and sludge and everything else from going from your crankcase back up into the intake is the whole point. They absolutely do work. This is just a good, solid company that you can trust, and these things don't cost a lot as is. So this is meant to go in line with the passenger PCV uh, rather routing over here but it's actually going to live in this area and the long one is actually going to go I have to look at the instructions because this is all new and I believe the long one's going to go over here onto the valve cover and the short is going to go right here on to the uh, right behind the throttle bodies and then every three to five thousand miles check these and drain the uh, don't reuse the oil just dump it out let's get this thing installed and let's go for a drive and talk about our new steed of suspension all right so check it out yes the long side is going to go all the way over here to this valve cover here and then the short side orientation here so i've kind of gotten over and under this line here from the intake to that anyway so now we have engine protection it's going to keep us healthy for the long run anyway let's put it back together let's go for a drive to the channel welcome back to the video we're going to talk about suspension now had a couple of weeks to live with this suspension i didn't really want to do like a first impressions because i wanted to be able to learn about it okay so performance package feels a little bit better on the 2024 in my experience than it used to on the s550 everything is just a little bit tighter everything is just a little bit more finessed and refined now we've done something totally different okay because we did the Steeda progressive lowering springs by the way guys go check out the video descriptions go to steeda.com and use promo code xander at checkout and it will save you some money also if you want other performance parts guys go check out hpr automotive let them know let ken know that xander sent you and he's going to save you money over there as well back on topic okay so steeda progressive lowering springs this is a non-magna ride car performance package but we also upgraded the shocks and struts to the pro uh, action okay so not their adjustable versions the sun is like right there all right i'm turning around we're gonna head directly into the sun typically head away from it 
it's just blinding. So factory springs that these Mustangs come with is a linear rate, which is arguably more predictable. And that's usually what I've done in the past. This time I wanted to try something different. You know, all of the, the craze right now on the forums is these uh, progressives from Steeda. And so I wanted to just try something different. The Steeda will tell you these are targeted more for your street guys, okay? Performance package or not, it's gonna satisfy both, but it's meant for more comfort. Now, depending on where you live, that might be really, really important to you. I'm trying to find some back roads so we can do a lot of this back and forth. The handling characteristics. When you talk to Steeda, they will tell you that they're meant for your street route. Okay, so it's going to satisfy most everybody out there for street imperfection, street driving, and it still will give you, and they still will give you excellent handling capabilities. Okay, so it's a progressive rate as the spring compresses and progressively gets stiffer. And the initial spring rate is actually softer than factory. And that's kind of trippy to me because over the past couple of weeks, you know, I really wanted something aggressive, more, you know, more handling oriented. And, um, you know, I might eventually upgrade to something more hardcore, but I am enjoying this. But it is kind of trippy. It's, you think it's a soft spring, but when you really start tossing the car around in a, in a tight turn corner, it once it's down in the progressive rate, it's like glue on the road. It's it's really magical. It's gonna be a lot better to live with and it will still get the job done in the turns. But if you're after that more like really hardcore feeling all the time car, even when you're going straight, you might wanna do something, you might wanna do one of their linear rate springs. They've got some minimal drop linears, they've got their dual rates, which is something I probably will try in the future is their dual rate linear springs but i think when i do that i have to upgrade the shocks and struts that i just did because they're so hardcore um but i do want to get into some autocross auto x you know more road course kind of stuff with this car eventually and we've always chased power you know straight line speed and stuff like that this car i want to do things a little bit different i want to be i want to create something i want to do something that's a little bit more handling oriented especially since we can't tune them yet i figure that that's why we'd go with a manual another performance package and have fun with the car until the aftermarket tuning gets figured out and uh, by the time that happens, we'll have a car that's already set up, suspension-wise, to be able to take on pretty much everything. So let's find some back roads. Let's talk about how these things feel in the turns. Because like I said, they feel soft as you're just kind of driving and dipping around in the roads and sucking up all the, uh, the road imperfections. And that might be very important to you depending on where you live. Maybe you have flat roads or maybe you have just absolute trash roads. I mean, that is something of value to mention. All right, let's get up here and take some back and forth little turns and see how this does. Everybody's going left and I'm going right. So, a little bit of a straightaway. I'll say that when you're fast switching back and forth, like if you're playing through traffic, um, there is a little bit of, I don't know what you would call it, like snap whenever you get settled going back and forth and again it's a progressive spring it's not linear this is supposed to be the more comfort have your cake be able to eat it too kind of spring and then a hardcore linear spring is kind of a one trick pony but it's, it's just kind of what do you like what are you building your car for wait anyway, let's get it here let's dive in But if you're switching back and forth and back and forth, um, you know there is a little bit of a little bit of a snap, um, which can be fixed with a linear rate spring. Okay, again these are progressive. So are you going to be doing that on the road? I don't know. 
I mean, your driving style, you'll know it the best, you know, but the cool thing is a Sita does have different springs for different kinds of people, different kinds of builds, so on and so forth. They have a lot. I think that we got to give credit to uh, the Stita shocks and struts, the pro actions. And these are the non-adjustables. Eventually, I would really want to try out the adjustable version with their dual rate springs. It's going to be very hardcore, but I still want it. But I think in the meantime, I wanted to try these out. I really wanted to see what the fuss was all about. And I'm really happy that we went with this because I think it's a really cool combination because we can daily drive the car and it's easy to live with. And like you saw in those turns, I mean, you can't feel it. You're watching a video, but once you're in the meat of the turn and you're in that rate, that progressive hard rate, it's definitely stiffer than stock. I mean, you can feel that. I'm not really, I'm not a rocket science in handling guys. That's why I leave it to the professionals. I called up Steve. I said, hey, this is what I want to do with the car for now. What do we do? And then this is what they recommended. And so far, I am loving it. I think it's a great combination for a daily driven, aggressive daily driven setup. It's cool that we started this way because what products are going to work best on the S650? And that's what we're here to do. That's what we're here to learn is try all these different recipes and see which one we like best. If you're still here watching, you might want to hit the subscribe button down below you know be part of the adventure and we're going to experience a lot of different things it's a whole new platform s650 okay there's going to be a brand new slew of products and we're going to try to test a bunch of them and it's going to be really fun and exciting and i'm just lo really looking i'm really looking forward to the future of this channel the future of this this mustang build and it's it's a lot of fun guys we're back in a manual back in a performance package mustang it's going to be a lot of fun like here's one right here Gets the job done. Gets the job done. <laughs> so much fun. So here's a real look at this one. All right. Alright, let's end the video properly. Let's take a look at the car. It does sit really good on these springs and I'm really enjoying the feeling we're getting out of them. I mean, being able to live with the car and then also be able to still take turns like we have been doing. It's just been a, uh, a real treat. So, again, we may try something a little bit different in the future. And then you guys can follow along by subscribing and staying up to date with the videos. Uh, if we do something more hardcore than this as we dip into more track stuff. But for a uh, 90% street driven car, maybe once or twice at the track, if that's just kind of your thing. This is probably a really good option for you. Be able to live with the car. You're not really sacrificing how handling a performance I think it does definitely feels better than factory and we could still take all those tight little turns you know with uh, extreme aggression you know and uh, the car feels really planted so really enjoying it. it sits really good it's very low I will say that the S650s for whatever reason sit lower than the S550s do so just something to keep in mind you know maybe you want like a minimal drop spring if this is too low for you for example it's a factory 19s, factory tires, and I've got about a finger in the front, and in the rear, it's really about about a half. I mean, I'm kind of tilted up, so definitely sits pretty low. But you know, some guys like this. I think it looks really good. Um, some guys like it a little bit taller. Just uh, really your cup of tea. 
but big things coming as always get ready for the next content to come and we'll see you guys later i guess stay tuned to the channel see you guys later bye